and we're back. <laughs> you guys. What we got? Where you can find the merch at? We got this bluecollarcash.com. Y'all need to go get it. Like three days ago. Bluecollarcash.com. B L U C O L L A R D C A S H dot com. Blue collared cash dot com. Get your t shirt. Sweatshirts. And y'all seen the jacket a few times in the other video? Yes, jackets. We got crew necks. I'm gonna get some socks and a beanie. I just ain't got them yet. To my cart. But we finna get into let Dorian explain what he thinks record label thinks. Uh, how he thinks a record label thinks when they. We about to see what Dorian... His opinion his, on yeah. how record label thinks about the artist and the record contracts and all that stuff. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to walk y'all through three ways it's the record crazy. labels think. I'm going to walk you through the record label psychology and how they really look yeah, at us see, like this. And a lot of stuff T-Pain said is true. Yeah, like There's you. some stuff that needs to be added a little more context to as well. If you want to hear it, which you do, because you're here... Stay locked in. My ducks, my swans, welcome yeah, to the park. My name is Dorian from Group82Music.com. And right here, we got T-Pain talking about the psychology of record labels. All right, so here are the three. I'll take you right through it. Number one. Hey, are you under 1,000 YouTube subscribers like and need help growing? It's all on the edge of your seat. I didn't know. But if them, so, I've got yeah, something yeah, really yeah, cool yeah, to yeah. share with you. If we're just meeting, my name is Sean Cannell, and I'm the author of the number one he said record labels don't want to control you that is bullshit the reason being that that's bullshit is because the way record contracts are set up they're gonna get their money regardless it don't matter what the fuck you say it don't matter what the fuck you do they are going to get a profit off of you the moment you sign that record deal and with your masters and you publish it and their relationships with movies and TV shows and video games and sync laws and stuff, they're going to get their money off of you. Record labels ain't broke. They ain't losing money on the artists that they're putting attention into. So the money is going to be there. At the same time, there's a control aspect where they can control the messaging of what gets put out into the world, which they do all the time. T-Pain says something really poignant that made him say that they don't care about control. He said he owns a company and he doesn't care about control. It's about the money. I 100% agree with that. I own a company. It ain't about controlling your life. I don't give a damn what you do. Turn the work in on time so we can get paid. But that's between me and my company. T-Pain, that's how you run your company. We think the same way. We got morals. We got value. We got integrity. This record label shit, they don't give a fuck about any of that. They want the money and the control because these companies were started by colonizers. And you can go through the history of this country, through the history of the world, and see how colonizers think. It was way more than resources. It's always about control when you get to that level. So you need to be conscious of that. Record labels definitely want to control artists. Number two, the psychology of record labels. Money got to get paid back. Absolutely, 100%. I agree with T-Pain on that. The money got to get paid back, man. You signed that deal and gave you $100,000. And what just $100,000 like your job? And what $100,000 in the Price is Right? And McMahon, if y'all even know who that is, ain't coming to your door with a check or maybe it's Drew Carey, I don't know who it is. This is money for a job. And your job is to make music and sell it and get us a profit. So until we get the profit, you are only going to get this 100000 bucks, And we need that 100000 back because you signed the contract. And we need the profit and we need the commitment deal or whatever it is you might decide with your publishing, however you might have pimped yourself off. Y'all be pimping off your pieces. Like, nigga pimp off his arm and his finger and his foot and his <laughs> left nut and his dick and pimping off their titties. Like, y'all pimping to everybody. Wow. So can take that. Universal can take that. Fucking YouTube can take that. Facebook can take that. Like, Goddamn, man. Wow. Just be one entity and go in and negotiate yeah, a deal like that. a human YouTube being. Take that. With all that said, you gotta pay him back. And if you don't pay him back, that's when they start acting funny, which leads to the control. They do control you. They can't control you. And they want to control you because you took their fucking money. Number three, it's going to go completely to the left, but I don't give a fuck. Don't sign. If you don't agree with their terms and their psychology and how they think and paying them back and you actually have to do work, 
You actually have to give them a profit, and you actually won't be able to use your name, and you won't be able to drop music when you want to, and you gotta do promos and do these TV shows. You gotta do these in stores. You gotta do these shows and commercials and drops and all this other bullshit that you didn't really sign up for. Like, don't take their money. Don't sign. Y'all want the freedom of an independent art. So as you can see, Dorian wouldn't suggest pimping yourself to the record label. Because all you're doing is selling yourself. And he like basically explaining it deep. Like you selling yourself, like literally. Like every piece of your heart and your soul you is selling to the label. And you don't even, and you don't even see that you're selling yourself to this label. Right. Like everything, he said you're selling your arm, your leg, your your, your testicles, balls. <laughs> everything. What's that? Like your liver, you're selling everything. Right. And honestly, if you think about it, some of these artists really do be selling their body parts, inside body parts. Literally. Yeah, I don't probably see it and notice it, but I notice a little bit of everything. <laughs> no, she knows it every fucking thing. So. <laughs> but yeah. So stop giving y'all selves to these labels for nothing because y'all worth more than that. If y'all are doing it, if you're doing it, you got to know you're worth more than that in the first place. Just because you even trying to do it. If you got the balls to say, I ain't working for nobody. I'm working for myself. And then you go sign for a record label. You ain't working for yourself. You just basically punched in. Yeah. You might as well go back to a goddamn whatever job you worked before. Because right. that's all you're doing now. Once you sign to a record label. Now, if you come sign blue collar cash. It's a record on, label, but you're still your own person. You're still your own boss. You feel me? You're going to get more than you would from a record label. Like... Uh, a fucking 